so hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to see how to make a dialogue system uh, for your project uh, in Godot. so uh, this dialogue system works that i have created so this dialogue system works on json file so basically you have a json file and uh, there are multiple dialogues with each scene names are present so for example this is the test scene so this is the scene name and the speaker and text so you can uh, also modify this json file according to your uh, scene and the project so let's see how this dialogue system works okay so you can basically see this so first of all let me run the project and show you how this dialog system looks okay so basically this is the scene and you can see it's basically showing the name of the speaker and the text and if i press enter it will show the speaker and the text and if i click enter again then it will show the text of the speaker and the text so that's how it will work so and i can't press anymore because there are no dialogues left okay so this is the basic uh, uh, dialogue system that i have made so let's let me show you how you can make it too so first of all let me show you the script so this is the script which is test .gd and it is very small you can see it's very small there are uh, four functions first is ready function process function play text animation function and the read json data function so there are total four functions and so first of all let's see what we are doing so first of all uh, we have a node which is obviously we are extending the node from uh, so basically this is this script is attached to this test node okay and then we have a file path that i have declared so this file this one have this path okay so you can basically if you if i will show you you can basically drag this file and attach it so it will just add the file path here and then you can see we have a dialog label which is this so you can just press hold control and drag it here and it will just mark it here okay and we have a text node text box basically and we have a count okay so let me show you how you can create this text box that i have made so this text box is uh, very simple to make so first you create a new scene and add some margin container and then you can add uh, a nine patch rect and then go on this margin container add one more margin container and then add a label so these four things that you are required then you need to go to the nine patch rect and i have a chatbox.png file which looks like this it's a very basic pixel art rectangle with four corners are rounded okay and uh, after doing this you need to go to the patch margin and give this to eight and once you have, once you have done that you can see it will look like this and you can basically um if you go the parent node of this margin container you can actually do something like this so it will look like much more better because it is not scaling it's basically a very simple patch rectangle okay then you can see we have a label here so if i write something here hello so it's not visible here so let me just change the color for now just black so if i write something you can see the patch rect is already increasing right so that's why i use the nine patch rect and there's one more thing you need to do if you use this method you need to go to this margin container theme override constant and give the margins from here so once you have done that you can see the text is centered now if i if you write anything you can see it takes margin from each side okay and one more thing you need to go and vertical alignment in the label and you need to set this to center okay so everything is now good so we have made our uh, very simple uh, text box 
now you can basically create your own script which is this and i will show you how you can make it so first you need these variables which is uh, the file path and the dialog label which is our this one this is the dialog label and uh, sorry let me show you this so this is the dialog label that we are using and the count function basically count variable sorry not function and this is the basic text box which is this okay so now you need uh, two things which is a list and a twin so twin for animation which is the text animation that i showed you and for dialogues we are going to take the list okay so we are basically storing the uh, text which is this inside our list okay and then we are uh, showing this in a dialog label so in the ready function what we have we have a very simple uh, so i am basically taking the scene name from this so basically we are just uh, taking the scene which is the current scene and then i am taking the scene dot name which is the this scene and its name which is the test scene and the uh, text okay so basically the dialogues which are which is this list so it's basically taking the test let me show you it is taking this test list and is storing all the text inside the list that we created here which is the dialogues okay and if this dialogues dot size is greater than zero that means we are at the first dialogue so it will start the text animation okay so now let's go to the text animation so we have used this thing which which is uh, no overlapping between twins so if one twin is running then another another can't so that's what that's why we use this and there is a dialogue label which is basically this label and we are setting the text of this label as the speaker name which is speaker so let me show you this is the speaker and some semicolon and then the dialogue which is the text so this is much easier and then you can see that we are setting the visible ratio if you don't know what is visible ratio you can just go here type any text you want let's say hello and you can see we have a zero as the visible ratio if i increase this you can see the words increase as we increase the visible ratio so we are just changing that parameter to get the animation that i made okay so we are setting the divisible ratio to zero and then by using twin we are setting this to one which is the maximum value of this visible ratio so if you set it to one it will show all the characters and if you set it to zero it will show zero characters right so we are setting this property with twin to maximum value of one and in now one second so if you if i make it to 0 0.5 then it will show all the dialogues in 0 0.5 seconds the same animation is 0 0.5 seconds right you can see it's showing every animation every uh, uh, like uh, animation in 0 0.5 seconds so yeah you can basically change the duration with it so i have made it one and then here is the main function that is basically reading the json data from this uh, uh, dialog.json file so what we are doing is we are basically using the file access class creating the file variable and uh, opening the file and then we are taking the data from the file as text and closing the file and the data we have stored in this data variable and we are basically parsing that data into a dictionary basically converting the data into dictionary and then returning the data so this data we have returned is uh, in this folder and this is a dictionary by the way so if you actually print this let me show you if you uh print this uh, data sorry print this function so let me show you here um okay let's let's try to print the data here so print okay no let me don't do it here print this 
which is read is in data and give me a file path and if you if you do it something like this it will give you full data from the JSON file so you can see in the terminal you can see we have full data from the JSON file so if you want to only read the C name so what you will do you will basically add here uh, the C name that you want to read and it will show this uh, data right so let me again demonstrate this to you so you can see if I will just show the test uh, which is the C name it will show the scene data okay so that's how that JSON is designed so basically scene then the data then scene and then the data so that's how uh, we are we designed this JSON file okay and yeah so this is everything that we want to show and if you want to get uh, the data of the speaker and uh, like so we can basically use the count variable here so this count variable is basically this is a list okay read json data file underscore path and test it's a list but if you remove this test it's a dictionary so basically we are making it's a dictionary if you see the json file it's a dictionary and each dictionary has a key of the c name and have the list as the uh, basically the data the text of that scene okay so that's how it works i hope you understand it if you have any problem you can refer this code uh, in the description you can just download this code from the description and uh, if you like this video please share and subscribe thanks for watching